Hello Reading community. This week we'll share a few district updates and then move into some student and staff level shout outs. So in terms of updates first, Fantastic Mr. Fox. The RMHS Drama Club invites our community to the upcoming production of Fantastic Mr. Fox. The show will run from April 29th to May 1st and is for all ages, children and adults alike. Uh, check out www.rmhsdrama.org for all the show details and to purchase advanced tickets online. So please come join. It should be a really fun event for, for our community. Second event here is our uh, Boston Kite Festival. So come join Reading Metco at our next event, which is a kite and bike festival in Boston on May 14th from 12 to 4 p.m. This is a community event held in Boston each year, and we will be providing free Reading Metco t-shirts, pizza and drinks, kites, and face painting. This should be a fun afternoon for all of our community. So you see here the flyer for more information. And lastly, uh, town manager minute, our new town manager, uh, Fidel Maltez, will be sending out a monthly newsletter to share updates from across the town. Uh, so here's a link to the recent newsletter and also a link to subscribe to future newsletter in a way to stay connected to what's happening at the town side. Now shifting into some shout outs, first we'll start with some staff shout outs. This past week was Administrative Assistance and Administrative Professionals Day last Wednesday, and also April was also uh, Occupational Therapist Month. So we'd like to give a shout out first to our OTs who do so much to support the academic, physical, developmental needs of our students, uh, and also to our amazing Administrative Assistants and Administrative Professionals who juggle so many different things to keep our schools and district uh, up and running smoothly. So a huge shout out to all of our OTs and all of our Administrative Assistants and Administrative Professionals for their incredible work in our district. Shifting to some student level shout outs, first shout out to some Wood End fourth graders. So Mrs. DiNapoli's fourth graders at Wood End researched and wrote nonfiction about natural disasters that are actually now on the shelves and ready to check out from the Reading Public Library. So kids and family members can search the library catalog for these books, by author, of course, place them on hold and check them out with their library cards. The books will be on display in the children's room, so congrats to all of our young authors over at Wood End. And a shout out to some Birch Meadow first graders. Uh, we are showcasing some of the work here of Miss Simon's first graders through their recent leadership module of History's Mysteries. The unit was about George Washington, whether good leaders always do good things, qualities of good leaders, and who kids think good leaders are. The kids learned about many leaders, including Ona Judge, one of Washington's enslaved people who escaped from freedom in New Hampshire, and Malala, an activist for female education in Pakistan. Check out some of their work from our students and to see what they say makes a great leader. And then to close, as you may know, uh, our own Coolidge Middle School made it on to Jeopardy this week through the question that's listed right here, which says there's a tradition of watching these birds follow their mother through school buildings in Reading, Mass, and Hopkins, Minnesota. So in case you don't know the answer, here's a quick clip from what happens at Coolidge for you to find out that answer. As always, let us know if you have any questions, thoughts, or feedback. We hope you have a great weekend. Go Rockets!